Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. So today's video is going to be a bit of a foundation versus foundation, a foundation off. I am going to be trying out the brand new Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Foundation. This came out a couple of months back, I think. I've actually just had it on my bench and I've been dying to try it for so long, but I really wanted to do it in sort of like a this first that sort of style video. So today I'm going to be trying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup versus the original Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So I'm actually going to start off with the original, the Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I'm going to put this on the right side of my face, which to you might be your left. I'm not going to be using any base or primer product underneath the foundation, so this is just going to be purely the foundations on my skin. So I'm just going to apply this using a damp beauty blender, I'm going to put it on the right side of my face, no primer whatsoever, and I will talk you guys through what my experience with this product has been so far. So with this foundation, I do like to just dot it onto the skin. I find that it blends really, really well if you just put little spots around your face. Some foundations I do prefer to pop onto the back of my hand and use my beauty blender to just dab them in, but this one I find works really, really well if you just do a few little spots around the face and blend it all in. So just while I am putting on the foundation there, I just want to list out a few of the details about this foundation. It has a long wear and 24 hours staying power. It is their number one makeup product and has a medium to buildable coverage. It has a natural to semi matte finish. It is oil free, dermatologist tested, non acneogenic, and it is also fragrance free. So first impressions with one coat on one side of my face, no primer whatsoever. It goes on very, very easily. It smooths around the face very, very well with a beauty blender. Um, it also, as you can see, it has like a slight sort of semi-matte shine to it when it first goes on. It does dry to be a lot more matte. It looks a little bit glowy and dewy at the moment, but it will dry to be a bit more semi-matte. And it does have quite a strong coverage already um, just from one application. I am now going to go in and put one more coat onto that side of my face just so that you can see how two coats look and how it builds really, really well. So there you go, that's two coats of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. As you can see, it's still quite um, natural looking and it doesn't look cakey. A lot of people would just sort of assume because it's such a, um, a long wearing and full coverage foundation that is going to look cakey. But I actually do find that it blends out really, really well and does look quite natural on the skin. It is very, very good at covering blemishes. As you can see, this side of my face is quite blemish free right now. If you do get quite a lot of fine hair on your face or if you do happen to have um, quite a lot of raised bumps on your face, Face from um, old acne or scarring. A lot of people that do have those issues do sometimes say that it can look a little bit cakey in those instances. I found it to be really, really sturdy over the top of blemishes, but some people do have that issue. So as always, I would recommend before you go out and purchase a foundation to go into a counter and get a little tester version, go home and test it and wear it for a couple of days before you make any decisions. But me personally, I've never had any issues with it looking cakey. I've only ever had good experiences with this foundation. Okay, so now it is time for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Foundation. This is a very different foundation to the right side of my face. This one, obviously, water fresh. You can tell it's going to be a lot more sort of natural and um, light coverage. I'm actually going to have to blend two um, foundations together to try and get a similar color to what is on the right side of my face. So I'm going to be taking ivory beige and sand and blending them in together to hopefully get something similar to desert beige, which is what I have on the right side of my face. So I can already feel that it is a lot lighter. It feels a lot more watery in texture. It feels like it's going to blend out really, really well, but I can sort of already tell that the coverage is not going to be as intense. This one has the benefits of being lightweight. It has an SPF of 25, which is incredible. It's a really good SPF. It is anti-pollution, 24 hour wear. It has a light to medium coverage, so it's not going to be as strong as the previous one. The finish of this product is a real skin to satin finish and it is 58 Australian dollars, which is exactly the same amount as the previous foundation. So they are both the same price. Okay, so first impression with one coat of the foundation is it doesn't have very good coverage at all with one coat. If you have bad skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this. As you can see, there are still quite a few pimples that are coming through here, whereas on this side, all of my blemishes and acne have been hidden. In comparison to the other foundation on the first application, it does have a lot more of a sort of dewy um, sort of finish. This one is now looking quite semi-matte, almost completely matte, whereas this one over here is looking quite... Um, 
very, very natural and very, very dewy. I do feel like it'd be quite good for every day because it does have quite a good breathability as well. So I'm just going in now with a second coat and I'm gonna really concentrate that over the areas that I want the coverage. Another thing to notice with one coat is I can really see my natural skin coming through underneath, which can often be a really good thing. It just depends what you want from a foundation. Okay, final impression with two coats. It does have a little tiny bit more coverage, but it is not quite enough to cover a blemish. I can still lightly see my blemishes underneath. Um, this side of my face that I put the original Double Wear Stay In Place makeup is looking very, very um, refined and perfect and porcelain, whereas this side is looking quite natural and dewy. They are obviously very, very different foundations, and I think it just depends what you need in a foundation. The real test now is going to be wearing it throughout the day, seeing how long it lasts. Um, for something that looks so natural and dewy, I am quite intrigued to see if it does really last for the full 24 hours. I am going to resist putting the concealer over the blemishes because I want to see how the foundation holds up over them and I'm only going to put the tiniest bit of concealer under my eyes and in the center of my face just to brighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to speed up the time now and I will see you guys in a second when my makeup is completely done. One eternity later. Okay, so my makeup is now finished. Um, a few things that I noticed during the application of my makeup. The right side of my face where I have the um, stay in place makeup, the makeup seemed to go on a lot more smoother. Because of the semi matte finish that is in the original Estee Lauder Double Wear, I found that the powder products went onto my cheeks a lot better. The um, bronzer and the blush and the highlight did go on a lot smoother. Um, but when it came to the left side of my face when I was putting the powder products on, because it was a lot more sort of like of a dewy finish, the skin felt more skin like so the powders didn't really flow onto the skin as well I feel like for the double wear nude foundation it would actually have gone on a lot easier if I'd used more gel products so if you if it was like a, a contour stick and a gel highlight it would have gone on a lot smoother so if you're into that sort of like natural look um, this is definitely a really good option zooming right and I don't know if you guys can see that but around this region I found that it just didn't quite cover enough and also on my chin this side as you can see it covered quite well. I think it is quite obvious as well with the um, double wear stay in place makeup that the contour looks a lot more smoother and blends in quite well. Whereas on this side it is a little bit, not too bad, but a little bit um, sort of, I don't know, not as well blended in. Anyway, they both look absolutely beautiful. So I am going to now go about my day. I'm going to go to an event. I think I'm going to the movies tonight and I'm going to come back to you tonight in the evening and I will let you guys know how the foundations held up. So wish me luck. Hey guys, I'm back. So it has been about, I think, eight hours since I first put the foundation on to my face and I have a few things to tell you about how it has held up throughout the day. First of all, I will just give you a little look yourself so you can make up your own mind on what you think my face looks like because I was finding that I was having a different opinion to the rest of my friends. I liked one side of my face but the rest of my friends liked the other side of my face. So I'm going to let you guys have a look first of all. Okay, so this is the side with the Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Foundation. Um, as you can see, it kind of is looking a little tiny bit shiny. Um, I'm still having issues with um, the pimples coming through. I would much prefer, I was quite self-conscious about the pimples today because I couldn't cover them properly. Um, and I did have a little bit of my mascara run beneath the um, the eye, which I had on the other side as well, but the other side didn't have as much. It definitely was a little bit more on the water fresh side. I'm a little bit unhappy still with my pores showing through. And I did find from the nude water fresh side that it wasn't really handling my sweating and my you know day-to-day -day situation quite as well as the other side it wasn't quite as sturdy then over here on the original double wear stay in place foundation side this was definitely my favorite side of the day for me personally i preferred um the double wear stay in place because i felt like it was a bit more sturdy and i had a bit more coverage but then i do have problem skin so i'm a little bit more self-conscious about keeping things covered this one just didn't budge it just really didn't budge there is absolutely no difference i think from this morning which I think is really impressive considering I didn't use a primer and I didn't use any concealer. 
um, it's definitely stayed where it was meant to stay and it looks still quite natural and satiny. My pores are still quite well hidden on this side in comparison to the other side. But the thing was when I was at lunch with Kat and Kiana, both of them actually said that they preferred the left side of my face, which is the nude side. So we're looking at Double Wear Original versus Double Wear Nude. And while the original gives you more coverage, the nude looks fresher and it looks more youthful and more smooth somehow. Mm. I like that side. Yeah, it's like glowy, it's radiant. But there's so many pimples. I think at the end of the day, it really comes down to personal preference, um, your lifestyle choices, um, what you personally want in a foundation. They are both of the same price point, so it just depends what you personally want from a foundation. I think basically any issue that I had on the Waterfresh side could have been fixed if I had used a primer and then used concealer over the top, but then, when you look at the um, at the double wear stay in place foundation, you need to give it you know brownie points for the fact that it didn't require the um, the primer or the concealer. It kind of just did its job on its own. But you know it does have a beautiful finish on the left hand side, and all of my friends did actually say that they preferred the water fresh look to. Um, in comparison to the other side, they much preferred the left. Even though I still had these like breakouts, you could say, I was like, can't you see the pimples? And they were like, it looks better though. It looks fresh. You look young and youthful and radiant. So with all that being done, I would absolutely love if you guys could go down below to the comment section and let me know which side of my face you thought looks best, which foundation you preferred, because I'm kind of just indecisive. So let me know what you thought. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you guys next time with another video. Goodbye.